Malcolm Nance, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, yeah. Um, So, Malcolm, I just have to check in with you on Twitter or on the <laughs> phone when I read something that I'm like, does this appear to be a hit put out on a United States ambassador? Um, uh, And as you uh, said, urgent, Parnas seemingly had the U.S. ambassador under both visual and electronic surveillance by a private security company. Talks between him and Roger Hyde about her movements appear done uh, for free in order for a contract to keep it up. Were they Russian mercenaries? Um, uh, explain what <laughs> everything we're trying to we're trying to understand from the, what we've heard starting yesterday. Yeah, for those of you who didn't really watch uh, Chris Hayes or Rachel Maddow or Lawrence O'Donnell's show last night, you are really missing something. Uh, I would recommend starting off with Chris Hayes because he had the breaking news. Yeah. But what happened was the documents that were released by the House Intelligence Committee showed that um, Lev Parnas and a guy by the name of Robert F. Hyde, he's a Republican ex-Marine who was trying to run for Congress, who was very vocal during the um, testimony of Ambassador Yanu uh, Yanukovych. Yovanovich, right. uh, uh, sorry. Yovanovich, yeah. And he... And, and everybody was really confused by that. Well, an email cache that was released by them showed that this guy Hyde was in communications with a foreign entity, which after you read them, spells out that it was a private security company. And that he and was reporting to Lev Parnas her movements on a specific period of time reporting that whether she was in the embassy, whether she was going to be in a building next to the embassy, he confirmed that that building uh, was where she was going to be. He was concerned about the size of her security detail. That's her Bureau of Diplomatic Security provided, uh, you know, armed security. And it became very clear that Hyde was talking about the guys in the Ukraine were a private security contracting company and that they were prepared to take some unspecified action. And the text that really got me the most was the one where the guy goes, um, you know, these guys, you know, are, are ready to go, you know, as if, you know, yeah. as right. if they What's had ready this. To go? Yeah, ready to go for what? Um, you know, and they were just waiting for a contract price to be agreed upon. Now, I've done a lot of operations like Steve. I've done surveillance. I've done, uh, you know, I've done uh, counter surveillance. I've, you know, gone after targets that we eventually, uh, you know, saw that needed to be liquidated. And this spelled that out. I mean, I was alarmed. Uh, like everyone else in news media, it was clear that they were either planning, uh, you know, uh, her assassination or these contractors were jokingly hinting to him that they could kill her. Well, and Malcolm, I guess my question comes back to what Ambassador Yovanovitch said at her testimony. She serves at the president's pleasure. He could have just fired her. Yeah. Why smear her, ruin her reputation? And if these are true, put out, I mean, other than trying to be just like Vladimir Putin, put out a hit on her, on a United States ambassador? I mean, what, what, what this is insane. You, you said, I spent decades intercepting foreign communications. I can assure you the comment, <laughs> you can do anything for money, was a shadow remark of a previous conversation where her assassination was likely discussed and uh, considered by Robert Hyde and the private contractors. I, I, I just can't believe we're talking about this in the United know, States of I, America. This is straight Tom Clancy stuff. Yeah. And I really believe, as you know, we've talked about this before. These guys, these Republicans think like that. They think. The world is this Tom Clancy novel now and that they can do what they want. Listen, you know, <laughs> when I made that tweet, I was giving you a little technical, uh, you know, intelligence tradecraft there. When you monitor a communication, and I'm not going to say anything is classified, but you can pretty much tell, you know, same thing with transcripts of, uh, you know, witness statements or wiretaps. You can pretty much tell the previous one or two conversations that person had by the way that they refer to the, you know, to the, to the communications that they're in. So when I saw, you know, that comment about here in the Ukraine, you can get anything you want, you know, 
And then Lev Parnas comes back and goes, lol, right? Laugh out loud. Yeah, right. That indicated to me that Hyde had had a conversation. And he had had a conversation with these contractors. And whether it was all braggadocio or whatever, these contractors hinted that they could do more than surveil her. Now, if I was, you but, know. Uh, how, about, how about the she's not going to get away? Yeah. <laughs> how else do you read that? I'm sorry, say that again? I said, how else do you read she's not going to get away in one of these texts? Yeah, you know, but who, at whose behest was he doing all of this? Was he actually working for Giuliani? Was he working for the president? I mean, these, these statements, the very fact that a, that a U.S. ambassador was under surveillance by either a hostile non-state intelligence entity uh, or as co- private security contractors. This may explain also the comment where it appears that her security was bolstered by a special security unit, he called it. And, you know, <laughs> it's quite possible her Bureau of Diplomatic Security guys saw the surveillance or got indications that she was at risk and that they brought in a special team, which is provided by a contractor company called yeah. Triple Canopy. And those guys are all ex-Delta and ex-SEALs. So now you have this sort of, you know, these this private entity watching her that is being, you know, being used by an American citizen, all right, who may have a nefarious plan to have eliminated or pass her on to whom, right? If it wasn't, surveillance wasn't for him, who was that surveillance for? Was it for the Russians? And were they using the Russian mercenary company PMC Wagner? This thing should be a, another article of impeachment. Thank you. If, and also, when she says she president. would like an investigation, who's in charge of that? Bill Barr. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> this is why you know you always sound the warning bell, Malcolm. That our media better be paying attention, as you said. Danger: Russia is stealing emails to attack Biden for Trump. The butter emails phase of Russian hacks 2.0 likely to happen soon. Russian intel can make up any evidence they want and will pass to Trump via Fox News. That will act as WikiLeaks. Expect Barr to open investigations. This is I, again. They better not lap them up like the Hillary emails. This story. They better because, as you say, that's Russia's. You know, Russian 101 is they plant fake documents, right? That's right. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, even though a bunch of these Trump Russia truthers like that, that guy at New York Mag who uh, who wrote, how do you know this? Well, these are the same people who the only people I found that asked that question are (laughs) Julian Assange, Mag Taibbi, Glenn Greenwald, this guy Isaac Chotner at uh, New York Mag, all these Trump Russia truthers who Mm. refuse to believe that this existed and the Republican Party, of course. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what you're going to find is those people are the people this information will be disseminated to. Only it won't be WikiLeaks this time. It will be the Trump data team. It will be the Trump campaign itself that will be the vehicle for black propaganda, which is false documents, which is false media, all of these things, which will be manufactured, and we have launched it. It is now launched. By hacking Burisma, the Russians intend to put out thousands of their emails, and they're going to manufacture, you know, you know. I mean, one of the things we found when I wrote, uh, you know, Plot to Betray America, is that they do this, this compromise. They'll insert child porn yeah. into someone's legitimate data stream. Yeah. That's how they did it in Russia. We need to now call out anything, anything that comes out of charisma as false. Whether, well, and, you know, the and, point is, though, they're going to put out real information, but within that data stream yeah. will be one yeah. false thing that will be explosive, like Hunter yeah. Biden, you know, you know, uh, it has va- validates the QAnon conspiracy yeah. theory. No, exactly. We better wake up, all yep. of us, and stay uh, uh, vigilant. And you said, you made a great point on Twitter, Malcolm. You said they don't care if you believe it. It's all to get Trump to believe it. He'll destroy America Absolutely. to win. Hashtag no greater, tra- no greater yeah. traitor. Um, yeah, we, we're, at the, we're at the most dangerous point in American history. I, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm a historian. I, I say that without any... Uh, compunction at all because 
you know, my job in the intelligence community was not to come and give you the lowest assessment. It was to give you a graded <laughs> step of things that could occur leading up to the worst case scenario. And what we found out in the Trump Russia scandal is the worst case scenario is always the option that they chose. Yeah. Right. Well, they rarely chose a lower intermediate step. So when people say, well, were you planning to have the Russian, you know, the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine assassinated? Hey, I have intelligence that indicates that was discussed, at least, you know, as far as we can tell. And that needs to be investigated. So what else are they willing to do? We've already found out they're willing to do anything. They will absolutely, without any question, destroy American democracy to get Donald Trump reelected. And anyone that is on the street today, here's my warning to all of you, my shouty McShout face for today. <laughs> if you're talking about Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, yep. Sierra yep. Tango Foxtrot uniform, you need to shut up. These people are literally out to destroy American democracy and the whinging between those two camps is going to help them. If yeah. you're a Bernie bro who can't vote for anybody else and you prefer the, you know, the, the destruction that Trump is leaving behind, you aren't even part of this movement. You should be over there with your MAGA hat. We have got to defend yep. this country now. So stop fighting. Yep. By the way, uh, Mal we should have hashtags Malcolm warned you and Hillary warned you, mm -hmm. uh, both of whom yep. have been right about everything. But Hillary Clinton yesterday tweeted, uh, Russians appear to be rerunning their 2016 hacking playbook once again to benefit Donald Trump. Will the media play along? Will the GOP open the door again? Will the Russians help pick our POTUS again? Um, as you say, Malcolm, we have a we have a voice in this to, to, to you know, as a country say no, you know, and, and you're right. That involves all of us. On Michael the left, Moore, the media, all of us, right? Absolutely. You know, uh, Joe Scarborough. That the fact that I've got to go to Joe Scarborough and Donnie Deutsch, who are now the the biggest voices on this on this scandal, who are giving the Democrats really good advice. They were the ones that pointed out that you know that the big news this morning was was uh, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders not shaking hands. Oh God. Yeah. On the night that we have this whole potential assassination plot David the Trump. day that yeah. the articles of impeachment are going over and then this guy this Hyde guy it says oh it's a joke yeah these people don't think in jokes we've seen Trump's jokes we must unify to defend democracy ex-republicans new democrats whatever you guys socialist guys everybody except for Tulsi Gabbard's crew I don't understand ah. them so <laughs> Well, you know, yeah. but they're not here to help. Yeah. Okay. She's the, Every she's, one of us must yeah. support whoever wins this nomination yep. with yep. all of our hearts. Yeah. Yep. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm throwing down. Yep. I'm on, I'm off the chain this year. I know. It's by the way, it's already trending. Hashtag Malcolm warned you. Hashtag Hillary warned you. Yep. <laughs> okay. There you go. Yeah. All right. Love you, honey. See you next week. Love you too. Buddy. There he goes.